Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is an unboxing and review of a case I purchased for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. This was a pretty much unknown brand on Amazon, and it arrived in the next day in the post. So here we have the case in its packaging, its generic packaging, very similar to what we've seen from other brands, such as the Folu case we unboxed and reviewed here in the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. And as you can see, this is a simple TP black TPU case with a bit of polystyrene on the inside. Now the inside is textured, has a little diamond logo there, uh, but in first impressions, the texture of the back is uh, slightly ribbed, so it's less likely to be slippy. Let's put my Hazel Gig Google Pixel 7 Pro into the case, and as we've done that, it fits nice and snugly. First impressions are it doesn't add much bulk, it feels good to hold in the hand, and it's not very slippy on the back. Right, uh, let's do the first thing, the most important one to me. Does any of the buttons, or do any of the buttons have an issue with the way they work? No. On off works great, uh, you can see that. Now, once we've done that, we'll check the volume rocker. So volume up, fine, no stickiness. Volume down, fine, no stickiness. So it's a winner when it comes to the buttons and their placement and how they feel. They've got the clickiness to them. They do not feel sticky at all. This is a, a good set of button cutouts on the right-hand side of the device. Now, on the right-hand side, that's all there is, just the power button and the volume rocker in the correct position, and they work great. At the top, we can see that there's a cutout for the microphone hole, and as we saw in other cases here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, on the Google Pixel 7 Pro, there's a cutout for this antenna. We believe this to be the ultra-wideband 5G uh, radio antenna, uh, we still need to confirm that, but at the moment it seems to be quite a trend seeing this cut out for that antenna. On the left hand side, nothing there. Uh, there is no cutouts or no lanyard loop holes, and at the bottom, perfect cutouts for the speaker and microphone grill, and more importantly, that's, uh, that's USB Type C port for data and charging the device. On the back, as we saw, there's a textured back, but the panel at the bottom is a different texture. It's more glossy to feel. At the top, we have that same glossiness at the top there, but more importantly, we have a camera module uh, cover, which not only covers it, but gives it a little bit of a raise here. That means you're less likely to scratch the camera modules and lenses if you put your smartphone down on its back. So this is a very welcome thing to see. I, I quite like that. Uh, and it's good, it provides good protection. Now, because the Google Pixel, uh, because the Google Pixel 7 Pro has a curved screen, obviously you don't get that much of a raise from the side of the screen. That's because the case holds the edges. Now, it still allows you to do gesture navigation as you would expect. Uh, you get full tactile access to the screen. But the downside is that if you're to put your phone face down, you'll probably uh, be likely to damage your screen. The top and the bottom offer about half a millimeter of rays here, which means you'll be uh, getting some rays off a completely flat, smooth surface. But as always, I recommend having a screen protector on the Google Pixel 7 Pro if you use this case. Anyway, I will link in the description to where you can purchase this case on Amazon UK. If you like this video or you would like to see more of our coverage of consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. But for now, I'll wrap up this video and hope to you decide to watch any of our future videos on the Google Pixel 7 Pro or any of the accessories for it here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye.